Hi ladies, it's the January of 2015 and I hope you are enjoying your weekend and having a good 2015. So, you know, it's a new year, some things move, you know, some people move on, some things change, some stay the same, but it's always good to have a good clean up. Um, so I've been keeping these empties for a little while now and I'm going to I, I want to get rid of them, so here comes this empties video. Um, in this video, I'm going to add on, um, because, well, I was looking at some of the other bloggers' empties and they will tell you whether they have repurchased or will be repurchasing the product. So, um, not to say that, you know, if I don't repurchase something that it is not good, but, you know, with all the products out there nowadays, it's, it's actually quite... Uh, yeah, it's actually quite easy to have many choices to choose from and many new things to sh to try. So, you know, just a gauge on there. Anyway, so let's get started. The first product um, I have, this is actually my second bottle of the Body Shop Vitamin C Energizing Face Spritz. Um, it's, it's, it's just a moisturizing spray that smells really, really nice. This is my second bottle. Um, it's actually quite nice. I use this before makeup sometimes, uh, in the morning, if after I've washed my my moisturizer from the day before off, I'll give this um, a spritz. So that's all. Um, whether I'll purchase this again, probably not. Um, it is good, but um, recently I've actually found that um, I've I like this um, Innisfree Green Tea Mineral Mist more. So I'm going to be switching to this once I finish my current my current spray, which is the Fresh Rose Floral Toner. Yep. So it's kind of in a transition phase as well. So this is gone. Nice spirit, nice smell, but bye. <laughs> next product. Now, um, the next one is the Properly Snighty Ampoule from Pure Hues. Um, this is from the Honey range. Basically, this is you can think of it as a essence, as a dual function of whitening and anti wrinkle. Because I was really into honey for a little while there. Um, I've previous in my previous empties, I finished the moisturizer, so this is also gone. Um, I think that uh, the moisturizer was all right for this. I felt that it was a little bit too oily or it doesn't suck in as quickly as I want it to. So I'm not sure what <laughs> whether this really gave me um you know there are some products where after you put it on you really feel the difference. Well this this didn't really make me feel the difference. So um I, I have replaced this with uh the Innisfree Green Tea Seed Serum. This is my serum now, and I feel that for this, I really feel the difference right away. So, you know, this was alright, but not fantastical, so bye. <laughs> now, the next thing. Um, this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Night Concentrate. Uh, this is from the Hydro Boost range from Neutrogena. Um, this is really gone. Empty, empty, empty. I've used out the whole tub. This is actually like a sleeping mask. So it's really good for those days where you feel very dehydrated and you want to put this on instead of a moisture normal moisturizer. So um, I really think that this works in the sense that when you, after you put this on, when you wake up in the morning, you really see a difference. Like it, it really um, moisturizes your, your face and there's a difference in the skin texture, which is really not bad. Uh, I might, I think I'm going to like look around, but there are, yeah, you know, there's a lot of sleeping masks out there nowadays. So this is a, Obviously a good choice, which I see if I will come back to this, there's a possibility, but I will um, be trying out other sleeping masks for the time being, so goodbye <laughs> for now. Okay, the next thing I have here, this is the um, Facial Radiance Pads from First Aid Beauty. Okay, uh, this is, actually I got this in Sephora, but sometimes they don't have it. Um, it's a little bit annoying to try and find this, and it's actually quite expensive. It costs around $40. Um, basically, it's, they, they had pads inside and you use it for, um, I, I kind of use it for acid toning stage. 
kind of thing. This was recommended by Caroline Hurens. It's really nice. The smell is really nice. Um, I don't feel any... Um, the textures of the pads are quite nice also. I don't feel any like burning or anything and I think that it works well as a um, exfoliator, toner kind of thing. However, um, it is a little bit expensive for me. It's $40. So um, basically I have replaced it with this simple spotless skin deep clean cleansing pad. Um, basically this is kind of something similar in the sense that it is, if I just open this up, there are actually pads inside. These are pre-moistened with the um, exfoliating essence toner thing. So this is this cost only around twenty dollars, which is half the price of this. That's that's why um I'm kind of replacing it because it really finishes quite quickly. Um, I had how many in this? I had sixty pads. So if you are using one, I kind of use one every day and so two months it's gone. Um, in this case, the simple one had how many pets in it? Mm, also 60 pets. So this $20 will last me two months. Well, this $40 will last me two months only. So I'm going to see if this works. Currently it works. It's, it's still working quick pretty well I feel um however um the only thing I don't like is the texture of the pad is more rough because it's supposed to exfoliate but it's rough to the point that you rub and you do feel some irritation annoyance over there so for now it's okay so I, I'll, I'll see if this goes well, if not, um, I might find an alternative, but I think currently this is the only drugstore alternative that I find that, you know, I can sort of trust. So, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Now, anyway, next, um, actually almost all my um, beauty products have been used, you know, I finished one round of them. So, this is the Ole White Radiant Cellucent, sorry, Cellucent White Eye Roller. This is for the eyes. So I'm not sure if you can see this by Ole. Basically, um, for the eyes, I am really not a eye cream user because they give me um, eye pox. Um, I get this this small um, protruding pox underneath my eye if I use something too oily. So I don't. I steer clear of um, all eye cream, and I prefer serum and especially this is very very um convenient because basically you just click the end and some of the serum will come out and then you just rub it on your eye i mean not on your eye but underneath your eye around your eye um but this is gone i find that um it's an okay product but not something that i see a huge effect from therefore yeah, actually I was scouring around for a nice um, eye serum product. They are either, for the high-end range, either they are too expensive, if not they offer only eye creams. And for the lower range, um, the drugstore range, they have things like this but sometimes they don't work too well. So I found that the best one for me in the drugstore range, it's actually in the drugstore range, it's this one called the L'Oreal Youth Code um, Re Rejuvenating Eye Essence. So it comes in an essence form. Um, you kind of take some of this, put it on your finger and you rub it around. I find that this um, seems to be the one that gives me the most effect. So I've actually bought... Um, I'm actually using this one now and I have one more bottle to go. So kind of for my eyes, I'm just going to rely on this for now. Until I find something that is even better. So um, Ole White Radiance was alright, but probably not going to be purchasing this again. Yeah. Okay, the next one. Uh, this is a eye and lip remover product. This is the Innisfree Apple Juicy Lip and Eye Remover with purity apple extract. Okay, actually there's still like a little bit down there. I've taken to wearing um, more eyeliners lately so I am going through these a little bit more because, which is actually good because I have some around and I really want to use them up. Um, this was 
an okay eye and lip remover. They, I actually still preferred my Face Shop Herb Day one. Um, because that one I felt that it really um, took off the eye makeup without any effort. This one I still had to give a little bit of rub. So therefore I have bought, um, I have bought one more of that for storage. But currently I have to finish my um, Sephora one that kind of is a travel size but I had a lot left. So I'm just finishing this and then I'm going to change to this. So... Probably for now, I will not be purchasing. I will not be repurchasing this unless Innisfree um comes up with a new, like a different range one, which perhaps the um quality of it is different. Like not say quality, the effect of it is a little bit different. So yeah, this probably won't be purchased again. I really think that the face shop. Herb Day one is really really good so I'm going to be sticking to this for the time being and the Herb Day and this one is really not oily I feel yeah okay next one um I have maybe one more product I guess okay this is a uh, Code Deco um perfume oh this is in B minor actually I I think I've talked about this in my last empties before, perhaps, perhaps not. But anyway, um, Code Deco is actually like a Singapore um, brand, Singapore designer's like perfume. Alright, so it's a, a brand of a perfume um, that is created locally. And then I find that they had very, very um, special scents that I liked. And this B minor is a scent that smelled like... Uh, books <laughs> so I kind of really like it um I actually ha also had another one because I got this in a pack of six of different scents and I had another one called Kokomo which is like a mint uh, slightly citrus kind of smell which is really really nice and that one's also finished um when I went to Japan on my trip I used it every day and that's finished so I I actually purchased this B minor a large bottle of it as well uh, maybe I'll show you that okay so for the B minor I've used out the little one but I have purchased a the big bottle this actually costs $150 it's quite price pricey but it's really interesting I find um so I really like this scent and it's unique so nobody's gonna smell the same as you but yeah the little one's gone so I can't I was thinking of reusing it to put um you know, I can put a little bit of this in here and bring it around, but I can't open this bottle, so I guess it's gone. Alright, goodbye. Anyway, I think that is all I have for you today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, let me know which are the products you think that um, in this range that you have, you know, maybe you have used before. Do you share the same opinion? Or if there is some products that you would recommend for my needs. Uh, yeah, it's just an interaction <laughs> on this channel. Anyway, um, I hope to see you again. I know that um, I haven't been doing too many videos lately, but it has been a really busy period. Um, I hope you're having a good time and I hope to see you soon again. Bye!